Good morning, everybody. We're just gonna be working on figuring out how the staff works today. So, first things first. The staff in music is what we use to um, be able to read our notes. That's how we're able to tell if a note is at A, B, C, D, E, F, or G. We know what note to sing, we know what note to play on piano, instrument, what have you. So, the staff consists of five lines. And the four spaces between those lines, all right? So, each one of these lines and spaces has a name, um, either A through G, but that's also determined by which symbol is on the left side. So, if there's no symbol, you really can't tell what it is. But we're gonna use this one right here, which is called the treble clef. Um, and this one lets us know what these lines and spaces are gonna be called. With the treble clef, or the G clef, um, it's called the G clef as well because this part right here circles the line that is G. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a G right there. We know it's the letter G. Um, but because of this, this lets us know that above it would be G, A, B, C, D, E, and F, and below would be F, and E. And that's all the letters, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, if you notice, we have E, F, G, and then it turns back around and goes to A. But that's not what comes after that letter in the alphabet, right? You are correct, but in the music alphabet, we have A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And if you follow A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and it's like the musicians, when they made the stuff up, they got bored and couldn't go past the letter G. I'm like, ah, we'll just make it work those seven letters, and then we'll just go back to A again. All right, so that's what happened right here. We have E, F, G, and then it goes back to A, B, C, D, E, F. Um, if you don't want to remember all of that, with the treble clef, you can remember the treble clef, the bottom line is E, but another way to remember the lines and the spaces would be this right here. Um, with the lines, I use a phrase, and I've taught this to elementary kids as well, it was every good boy does five. And then spaces would be just spell the word face F A C E. So with all of this, <coughs> it's easy to figure out what the lines and the spaces are. And if you notice in this chart, I went from bottom to top each time because that's how I count, well that's how I label the lines and the spaces from bottom to top. So the first line is down at the bottom. So actually let me not do that. One, two, three, four, five. And it's a space. One, two, three, four. Now looking at this right here, the first line is an E. Line two is a G. Line three, B. Line four, D. Line five, F. And then the spaces. Space one is F. Space two is A. Space three is C. And space four is E. So using this, you can figure out what these lines and spaces are very easily. So give me a second. I'm going to draw another staff on here real quickly. Now, using what we've learned and using the lines and the spaces, the little shortcut I taught you, I'm gonna try I'm gonna write a word on the staff and we're gonna try to figure it out, okay? So, going left to right, just like reading a word, um, I have written different notes on lines and spaces. There is a difference and you can tell um, if a note is 
in a space. It's kind of floating in between the two lines, not touching either of the lines. And if it's on a line, the line actually goes through it. So if you see here, this fourth line is going through that note. That's how you know it's on the line. So, I want to figure out what this word is. So, in order to break it down, we're going to take it note for note going left to right. So this first note is on, on space number one. So space number one is F. The second one is on space number two. Space number two is an A. This third one is on line number four, one, two, three, four. So that would be the letter D. The fourth letter, one, two, three, fourth space. So that's the letter E. And this one again is the fourth line, which would be D. So we have the word faded. And this is a, it's just how you use every good word is fine in F-A-C-E. And let's say if you didn't have this all written out, this is generally how people would do it. If you didn't have it written out at the bottom, you just look at this, like, okay, this is a space, F, space, and A, line, every good boy does, space, F, A, C, E, it's a line, every good boy does. And if you do that, you should be able to figure out what the lines in the spaces are. And as you learn them, you'll get faster and faster and you won't really need the little shortcuts anymore. Um, but that is basically it. This is the lines in the spaces of the staff. You will have an assignment that is going to have different words and you're going to have to identify them the way that I just showed you. So if you have any questions, please send me an email or send me something in the uh, Google Classroom. Alright, have a good one.